All right, in this video, I'm going to be adding the entry uh, sloped floor. This is a, uh, the second part to the previous video. So let's get started. All right, so now that we're on the second floor, we're not going to go right into um, this floor and start adding it. No, because we're doing a completely new f uh, floor. It's got to be separate from this one, remember? Because we're going to slope it. And we, we don't want to slope this half. We want to slope this half. So that they have to be separate. So I'm going to draw a new floor here. So in Home, select Floor. Okay. And remember, we started at this endpoint. Oh, wrong boundary line. Change the line. All right, we started at this endpoint. So we'll stay the same. And just go up 100, 1,000, sorry. What's this line? I think this shouldn't be here. I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe I'll find out in a bit. And just there. Should be in the same line. We'll click. Okay. And let's just tick. No, I would definitely not like that. Okay, 3D view. Have a look. There. Same as before, really. Okay. Back to our uh, second floor. We're going to start sloping this now. Click on um, the floor. And now we're going to need to uh, edit. So an edit boundary. Slope power. It's quite simple, really. And see the midpoint there? That's what we want. We want to get the midpoint. Click it, and then click it all the way to the other side. Done. And here, height offset. Let's change this to... Well, let's just see what it looks like without the um. Would you like that wall to go up? No. View, 3D view. Yeah, now you see it's going up. Uh, we want it to go down, so we're going to have to put a negative value in that property. So, so uh, let's just click it again. And I guess we're going to have to go edit boundary again. Oh, we should probably go on top of it. There we go. Click the uh, slope boundary and we'll get the properties again. Let's change this to minus 300. What's wrong? Oh, I haven't clicked into the problem. It's odd. Oh, there we go. And apply. Let's check. No. You went back again. Yeah, it's going down. Now, it's not exactly touching the floor. And that's really the suitable angle we want. So what we're going to have to do is change to the height of the floor. And this sounds quite hard, you know, complex to do, changing the floor and the ground. But it's actually quite easy. So I'll just show you how. We're going to have to edit those topographic um, points we did earlier. Remember in the first, like maybe third video I did, I did topographic points. Well, I'm going to have to edit them to be minus 300 at this specific Okay, so just click the uh, surface and hit edit surface. And now we can see those points we did earlier. That's not quite. Just fix that up. It should be a square, somewhat of a rectangle. We did it right. And now what we need to do is make this point here uh, minus 300. So I'll just drag this point to about here. And let's change this to a minus. 300 and let's have a look at this in 3D view before we commit that's looking quite nice really yep. okay so I'll just go back and hit tick there it's saved so there's our entry deck you can see you can just walk up from the side of the house walk in through here access the um, second floor, it's quite simple, easy, and it was pretty easily implemented on this house. So thanks for watching.
probably come back with more videos later. See ya.